Good Sunday morning to you all. Look at that. Just another awesome, beautiful day. Thought I'd do a little bit something different here. I'm in the dark and then I'll clear up here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm started out by our cottage and I'm walking back into my favorite quiet area. And then we'll just keep on walking back a little bit further. Look at that nice warm sunshine. It's a it's a cool morning, not quite crisp, but cool. And it just feels great. Feels great. It's Trinity Sunday. Uh, I have a lot of good memories of Trinity Sunday that go back to when I was just a wee little tot. My pastor at the time sang the same opening hymn every single Sunday. And it's one that we're going to use in our Zoom service. It's one that I like for us to use every year that we gather in worship, in person worship, and that is Holy, Holy, Holy. It has nothing to do with really the Father, Son, and Spirit. It has everything to do with a text out of Isaiah where the, the prophet has this wondrous vision of God and the temple and all this kind of stuff. You have to read it. It's it's fascinating and it's wild and it's crazy. But holy, holy, holy. I think that's why it's used on Trinity Sunday a lot because it has three holies in it. But the fact is, we do worship God in so many different ways. So whenever someone says, ah, you know, pastor, you know, worshiping in church just really isn't for me. I like to worship God outside in his beautiful creation in nature. I say, go for it, man. That's fine. I do too. I love it. And especially now that we're moving into that camping season, I know there's a lot of people be doing that just about every weekend, especially now that the campgrounds are opening up. Um, do it. Just do it. But don't forget one thing. When we celebrate the Trinity, God revealed to us in many, many ways, but especially as Father, Son, and Spirit, we remember that God himself, herself, itself, it, God is, is beyond our conceptions of, of who we are and, and what God is and Forget it. We, we just can't do it, right? It's so beyond our capacity to think. But what we do is we look at the different ways God has been revealed to us. And in one way is community, togetherness, oneness. We can't avoid that either. Don't use worshiping out in nature as an excuse to avoid everybody else. And I know right now we're doing a lot of that. We're avoiding a lot of different people, but for a wholly different reason. And that is eh, the virus. But God wants us to be in community. God wants us to share with each other. God wants us to need each other. Because, simply put, we do. We need one another. So, as you walk with me, wherever I may go, out into all this beautiful landscape, just remember, God is holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. But God also wants you and I to be together in community. I could just ask my favorite buddy out here, Gino, Gino, and he'll tell you so, that it is about being together in Christ. Have a great day.